Wow, Lex is continuing to fly very aggressively. Oh, she's losing control again. This is an FPV issue, interruption. All media drives uh, vacate the vehicle. Hi, I'm Jim Kira. I am the head of operations for Airspeeder and the Exa series. To ensure the, uh, the safety of the race operations, there are a number of elements that need to be considered. First of all, we ultimately need to implement a validated safety case. The safety case is designed to ensure that the airspeeder is ultimately fit for purpose and safe to operate and maintain in the airspeeder's intended environment, which in this case is in the racing environment. Likewise, that all the race staff and the race control personnel are appropriately trained in their particular roles and responsibilities. With regards to the vehicle itself, we need to consider the functional safety of the vehicle to ensure that it doesn't have an accident or to ensure that the vehicle operates as intended. If for any reason there should be an incident that could potentially result in the vehicle crashing, we can ensure safety by making sure that the crashworthiness of, of the vehicle is sound. And this is very important because when we go into the crude series, that we are providing a vehicle that protects the occupants of the aircraft. Another way is by ensuring that pilots and all the associated crew and race control staff are appropriately trained in radio communication. Three battery, one three decimal two. Individuals need to know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it to ensure that communications are clear and there is no confusion. The development of the race procedures is being done collaboratively between myself, Gwenda Searle, Eddie Baker, with input from the pilots, the engineers and media. It's been done to ensure ultimately the safety of the competitors themselves and the crew, to facilitate close competition between airspeeders and also to ensure the entertainment of the race event as a whole.